Hey everybody, um, Arcade Gamer here, back with another collection video update. Ah! Um, yeah, I'm filming from the uh, the luxury of my bathroom today. Um, didn't even straighten this out properly. Um, it's either because every single light in my room is dying for some reason this week, and I've been meaning to film this video like two or three times now and every single time I, I kind of set up my usual setup and it's like no there's just not enough light and um, something has always or always come up and been like no pack it away like we'll wait until another time and hopefully I'll get a lamp or something tried to find lamps all around the house just no lamps anywhere <laughs> so um, yeah this has been a long time coming but I finally got that package I was talking about um, I got six games from the same seller here and there's a little bit of a story to go along with it but they're not all well that none of them are really like really standout titles um, but still it's stuff to go in so first Tiger Woods PG PD PGGA <laughs> I'm not doing good today I? PGA Tour 2003 my Tiger Woods to play golf um, yeah uh, comes complete I'm having, sorry if the camera moves a little bit, I'm having to like put my arm through the um, through the tripod here. Um, tagline, be him or beat him. Well, if I was him, then I'd be, I'd prefer to be him because then I'd have loads of money. Well, the scandal, nah, debatable. Um, so, Jesus Christ, yeah, this is more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003. And sorry about the glare as well. It's like any bathroom, you're going to have about six or seven just gleaming lights coming down on you. But, yeah, there you go. It's better than the whole thing being yellow. Next up, Reign of Fire. Let the battle ignite! <laughs> So that action shot at the a non-stop action fest cube magazine. Wow, how can this be bad from BAM Entertainment? Is that entertainment? Yeah, BAM Entertainment. Uh, Reign of Fire. It you know, it's something <laughs> You look at this, you look at the front cover, and it does look awesome. But you just know the game isn't gonna be like that, do you? Comes complete. Uh, let's not look at the tagline yet. Let's look at some screenshots. I, I, this this screenshot here may look really bland on the camera. Believe me, it looks really bland here. It just seems like it's a dragon versus a tank, a jeep versus a dragon, and then a dragon versus the same tank. So they've used the dragon model in every picture in an uninteresting way where it's firing fire. Tagline, fight fire with fire power. So, yeah, use a tank to destroy dragons. You know how we're supposed to have that um, that contingency plan if, if zombie invasion outbreak or if aliens invade, like we're supposed to um, we're supposed to hide because the technology and all that crap, blah 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 blah. This is that contingency plan for dragon. So, yeah. If a dragon comes, use a tank. Uh, HMV sticker down here. Normally nineteen ninety nine. Sale price fourteen ninety nine. Interesting. Didn't pay anywhere near that. But yeah, rain of fire. Driven, driven eighteen. Um, yeah, another one from Bam Entertainment. I don't know if this guy just decided to get rid of his Bam Entertainment um, library, but yeah, driven comes complete. Uh, tagline... Oh. There is no tagline. I suppose I'll read this part. Inspired by Sylvester Stallone's hit movie Driven. Okay. Race on eight stunning tracks, including California's Angels Bay and Paris's Champ... Champs Ali says... I don't know how to speak. Uh, a few pictures here of, like, cars doing crazy... Oh, hello. What's this one? Enter the zone! Are they referring to blur effects as the zone? I guess? <laughs> so yeah, Driven, the first uh, first game to not have um, motion blur, but the first game to enter the zone. So, just in case you ever wanted to wow your friends with that fact, so... Driven, it's in there. 
Um, next up, 007 Nightfire. Uh, yeah, again, I've already been on like a little bit of a rant, well, not a rant, but a little bit of a thing about how GoldenEye and... Nah, 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 but I've heard good things about some of the 007 games past GoldenEye, um, specifically on the GameCube or, or the PS2 or whatever, whatever console, uh, whatever uh, generation you decide to play a few of these games on. I'm not sure if Nightfire was one of them. Um, comes complete. Tagline, do you have what it takes to be Bond? Uh, this, I know this doesn't really come out in the camera here, but this picture here is incredibly low resolution compared to, say, this one here, or these two here. Everything else is high, quite high res, quite looking quite nice, actually. Nice lighting on there and everything. This one's just like a JPEG that someone kind of print screened after hitting it on a website and realizing it was a really small image. Uh, yeah, Eurocom as well. Um, I had a friend who tested there and they made the uh, the most recent James Bond game on the Wii with the gold controller and everything. So yeah, 007 Night Fight's in there. I'm not sure if this was the first one as well that um, introduced bots on a multiplayer level. I'm not sure, but yeah. Next up. Enter the Matrix! Don't expect that for everyone. Um, I had this back in the day, and I remember it being rather underwhelming after seeing the Matrix and being a kid and being like, I want to be in the Matrix! Playing this was like, I'm totally not in the Matrix! <laughs> it was uh, pretty underwhelming. But I am going to go back and play this, possibly on an extended play, because, I don't know, um, I think something about me remember something I liked about it, and if I can go back to it and find that, then excellent. Two discs! Oh my god, two discs! It comes complete. Um, yeah, a few screenshots there. Running up walls. Scenes from the movie. Just punching a dude. Uh, I can't actually tell where the tagline is. Uh, that's not a tagline. It's one of these two. Uh, in the war to save Zion, will you? What part will you play? That sounds like a tagline. So yeah, that's just a uh, quote. So impressive, it's bordering on the obscene. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow. Maybe this game was all right. I I, I honestly can't remember. Um, I remember, as I say, I remember something I liked about it, but I can't remember what. But I remember, I remember being like, "This is not the Matrix," and I'm sad. For because of that. So yeah, it's in that. And finally, in that six game bundle, Medal of Honor Frontline. Now, I never really played um, World War II games or war games, should I say, um, on any console. I think the first real foray into actually sitting down and playing a warfare style of game was uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare because of the hype it had and even then a friend gave me the disc to play and it wasn't like I was like oh yeah I know about that game like cool yeah yeah this was in a very deprived time when I had no money and he gave me the disc and just said play it and I was like alright yeah whatever I'll play it and it turned out to be amazing um Model Medal of Honor series I know a lot of people have a lot of um what's the word I'm looking for nostalgia <laughs> A lot of nostalgia for that. Sorry, I just I just literally sat and it's just looking off into the distance and being like, what am I trying to say? Um, yeah, a lot of nostalgia for this game. Um, and a lot of love for it as well. Comes complete. Uh, a few screenshots. Tagline. You don't play, you volunteer. Shit, son. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. May have to try that out. Single player. I mean, there's something about me that can't really play split screen co op anymore, even in, in like Mario Kart style things. Maybe I've just got to overexpose myself to it again to get used to it. So that was the six game bundle thing. Now, I'm not sure which one of these to pull out first because they're both equally as impressive. Um, let's go for, yeah, let's go for this one. So today, this was today. Um, a friend of mine had to come to the office because uh, the internet was down 
uh, at his house and is going to be down till Wednesday, which is a massive bummer when you think about it. I mean, anyone who, you know, if you spend your life on the internet, as a lot of people do now, the second your internet's down, it's like, what, what, what am I going to do? So he was cleaning out his wardrobe and he found something that he wanted to give me. And that something was a Resident Evil 4 uh, Collector's Edition GameCube. It hasn't got a box or anything, hasn't got a controller. Uh, hasn't got any of the leads, but still, I thought it was really nice that he gave this to uh, gave this to me. And when I opened it up, da da da, da oh, you can't really see the game there, but there's two games in here. He said, "Don't play it, obviously, with uh, with two games in because you'll know, screw one of the discs up." Uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee, which is just the game, and quite oddly, Resident Evil Four Disc One. <laughs> um, but it's stuff like this that I really like as a as a collector of the GameCube stuff. Um, it's going to be fun to try and find a box for this and a manual, and it's going to be fun to piece that back together and maybe use it in a trade. And it's going to be fun to try and find the controller for this, as difficult as that is probably going to be. I mean, the cables and stuff I'm sure are easy to find, and the box for this thing I'm really not fussed about. I mean, a lot of people have said your collection is exactly what you want it to be, and you know, I'm fine with not having a box for something like this. I don't need to have everything 110% complete or whatever. As long as I can maybe try and find the actual controller with the with the emblem on and the silver thing and everything and just kind of keep it complete in that way, I'll be happy. But yeah, I'm so happy you gave me this. He said, he, you know, I, said, I told him it's going to go to a good home. Um, obviously, because I'm collecting them. <laughs> um, but yeah, Resident Evil 4 Collector's Edition GameCube. So yeah, that's that. And finally, oh god, finally, this is the big thing here. And uh, it's a little bit of a collection tip as well. But my girlfriend got me, and a lot of people would have seen this on Retro Collect. I, my girlfriend got me for, my, for our four year anniversary. I hope it's four years, I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I swear it's four years. Um, Mario Party 6, complete in box with microphone, and it is in dastardly good condition. Yes! Um, now, actually, I'll go through it first and then we'll... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go back to the GameCube a second. Do something we didn't do with it. Tagline... Uh, tagline, tagline... Uh, Def1064769... Oh, that must be the tagline. So yeah, tagline. <laughs> but yeah, back to the... Yeah, Mario Party. Um, yeah, so comes complete. Game is in is in great condition. Uh, manual and all there. So I don't know if you saw that. Uh, microphone. I know you can pick these up wherever you want to, but um, yeah, microphones in there. Box is in is fantastic condition. It really is. Um, and yeah, I, I I didn't pay for this. Obviously, I kind of said that I I, I saw it and I, and I wanted it. Um, so it does go down as a gift, but we paid, considering how much these things can go for on a good day, we paid £28.40 for this, which 30 quid for this is not bad, um, considering games like Twilight Princess and stuff obviously normally go around the 45, 40 mark, somewhere around there, it's not bad for 30 and considering Mario Party 7, starts with people trying to get you for about 60 quid on it, then, you know, I'm happy that I'm happy that I got this. I know this is not as rare as number seven. Um, but yeah, tagline, party till the break of dawn. So there we go. Never really played a lot of Mario Party. I played the one on the Wii, Mario Party 8, um, and had a bad time with it, unfortunately. But my tip is, never never focus entirely on eBay uh, when you're coming to, to finding games. I know it's a really easy thing to say and a really <laughs> but um, one tip which I was given um, was a tip by Joe the Useless which I might have said in my um, my last video and I'll link Joe the Useless down down here um, was to go onto CEX's website and browse by your store um, and by my last video, you'll know I got um, the Zelda Collector's Edition um, by doing just that, going on to CEX, browsing by store, seeing it was in. My mum was in the town at the time, and I was like, get it back! Um, 
But with this, I actually looked on the internet specifically for Mario Party 6 and went on shopping and just looked for stores that had it. And there was one particular store called Chill Out Games, which I'll also link down here. Um, Chill Out Games had uh, this boxed, and they had one without the mic as well, and they, they do a really good job of knowing what you, you know you want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do a really good job of telling you what condition the actual game is in. So I saw it and I was like, oh, it's going to get snapped up in a couple of days. And I left it literally a week, and this thing was just sitting here at that price. Uh, in the condition that it's in as well, and I said to my girlfriend, like, just, you know, I can't stand this being there anymore, if you get it for me for anniversary, and then I'll get you something, and blah blah blah, and this was my gift. Um, but yeah, um, just don't limit yourself to kind of looking on eBay and seeing the ridiculous prices that some people will put up. Uh, CEX and Browsing by Store is great. Looking online at different online retailers that um, specialize in uh, selling these things at a reasonable cost. I know Chill Out Games at the moment have got stuff like uh, Twilight Princess and Paper Mario, and they are going. I, I thought Chill Out Games would do like reasonable prices for everything, but like, I, I, you know, I understand they've got to make a profit somewhere, and Paper Mario is going for about 50 quid, and oh, they've got Twin Snakes on there as well, which is one that I really want to get a hold of as soon as I possibly can, but they're putting it on there for 54 quid. Uh, it's just. Yeah, look around the whole plethora of, I know I'm using Mario as like a, this is the world here, but look around a whole plethora of different websites in order to find your deals. Don't just think I'm going to log on to eBay today and see the newly listed or something like that, which is a really obvious tip, but I, I didn't really think about it until Mario Party 6 came up on Chill Out Games and I was like, wait, maybe I should be looking around a lot more. But nonetheless, that concludes all of the pickups for today. I hope you like this video, and if you do, please do all the usual things that every other YouTuber tells you to do, like rate, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I'll have uh, another video up soon about gameplay and stuff, and then uh, I'm considering doing... Actually, no, that's a surprise, so look for another video maybe sometime later in the week, but until then, Mario will point us out. Rub the lens, yeah.